All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakrash, the Monitor Elders, and the Apostle of Great Mules, and I do her will. The citations and bless you, I can just push his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, It is Better to Fear Yahweh than Man. All right, man? Because, hey, the Lord can put you in, 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 in horrible to, in horrible predicaments, man. All right? Hey, destroy, destroy your body, man. Destroy your mind, man. All right? Have you bugged out out here, man? You know? So, hey, man, it's, it's much better to fear the Lord, man, all right, than fear uh, any man out here, man. All right, hey, 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 come to the truth, man. All right, understand the fear of Yahweh Shema Shah. Learn to fear the Lord, man. All right, hey, hey, know that fearing Yahweh Shema Shah is going to outweigh anything that someone else uh, can do can do to you, man. All right, it says that, um, uh, uh, you know, you come to serve the Lord, man. All right, hey, hey, it, it makes your enemies to be at peace with you, man. All right, so if you fearing a man, man, you don't want to come to the truth, all right? Or push the word for the Lord, man, because that hey, you you afraid your family members are gonna you know turn on you, man, look down on you, man. All right. Or a a a game banging niggas, man. All right, hey, they uh, you know look down on you, man. Whatever it may be, man. All right, but hey, you don't fear or be ashamed of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. I'm saying uh, you know you don't fear how a man feels about how you feel about Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Well, hey, be ashamed of the Lord, man. You know hey, it's much better to fear the Lord, man. Hey, this is Matthew 10 and 28. It says. And fear not them which which kill the body, all right? Because, hey, man, these, these immortal man can only kill your body, man. Says, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So, hey, man, the Lord, he can destroy you, man. All right, utterly destroy. He can torment your ass, man, make you dwell in torments, man. All right, so, hey, don't be worried about another man, man, all right? Be worried about what Yahweh Shemal Shah can do to you, man. All right, if you're not serving him, all right, if you're not following his ways, man, all right, because they all those all those people that are not serving the Lord, man, they're gonna dwell in torments, man. They're gonna be tormented, man. You know, but hey, man, those that fear Yahweh Shemal Shah, man, hey, you're gonna be spared, man. You're gonna be rewarded, man. You're gonna be saved, man. You know, because why? Because you you you're gonna move accordingly, man. All right, you're gonna uh, um, be doer, doers of the word and not just hearers, man. All right, because the fear of the Lord causes you to move, man. All right, if you truly fear the Lord, man, all right, you're going to uh, depart from evil, man. You're going you're gonna to depart from your wickedness, man, you know? That's why, hey, the fear of the Lord, man, that's the first step to wisdom, man. It's the beginning of wisdom. So it says, Proverbs 1 and 7, it says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, all right, man? So, hey, man, hey, when you fear Yahweh, Hashem, al man, that's the beginning of this wisdom, man. All right, hey, the, hey, the true wisdom is he lost his commandments. All right, but, hey, the first step to get there, man, all right, is to fear is to fear the Lord, man. Because if you don't fear the Lord, you're not going to uh, put away your pride, man. Are right, you not going to put away the things that you were once doing, man. All right, come and serve him, man, you know. Hey, that's why it says this in Job. This is um Job 28 and verse 28. It says, And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding, right, man? So, hey, to fear Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man, all right, that's wisdom, man, all right? Because, hey, 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 it says that the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, man. All right, when you come to the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man, all right, hey, hey, obtain this wisdom, man, which, hey, the, the, which is these lost commandments, man, all right? Hey, you're going to fear the Lord, man. All right, because you're not going to continue to do your wickedness, man, your evil deeds, man. All right, you're going to look at that and see and understand that, hey, that's evil, man. All right, that's off. That's not that's not how you're supposed to live your life, man. You know, but, hey, when you come to serve the Lord, man, you understand these things, man. And you fear the Lord, man. Literally fear, all right, how, hey, you will tremble, all right, you will, you will be in fear, all right, of something, man. That's the same way you fear your Yahweh Shemal Shai, man, but, hey, in a respectful uh, way, man. In a respect, hey, it's a respectful fear, man, you know. So, hey, this is um, Hebrews 10 and 31 because, hey, man, hey, just like that Matthews uh, 10 and 28 said, man, it's a, a to, fit, to fall into the hands of the Lord, man, is no joke, man. All right, because, hey, the Lord can torment your ass, man. He can, he can do whatever he wants to to you, man. So, this is Hebrews 10 and 31. It says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, all right, man? That is a fearful thing, man, all right, to fall into the hands of, hands of the Lord on his bad side, man. All right, amen. Hey, that's why the Lord said our people are going to dwell in torments, man. He's going to bring bring evils upon them that they cannot escape, man. The Lord knows all of your deep your deepest and darkest fears, man. All right, whatever you fear, man. All right, the Lord can bring that upon you, man. All right, if you fear Pennywise, man. All right, the Lord can 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 make a a man come out like that, man. All right, put a spirit of vengeance on him, man, and and, and make him do whatever he wants to do to you, man. All right, whatever the Lord wants to do 
uh, want, want that man to do to you, he'll do it to you, man. All right, why? Because, hey, it's Proverbs chapter 24 and 20. No, hold on. No, it's 20, 24, okay. Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's gorns are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right, man? Hey, it's just like uh, um, it was a uh, news clip that the brother Shikari had shared. All right, where it was these, it was this guy, man. He he went around and asked, you know, this uh, past and his wife. He asked them a question. Hey, they want to bat something. They told him no. So he took a shovel, beat him with it, and bit off both of their ears, man. You know? Hey, this is what the Lord has in store for those that don't trust him, man. Spirits, spirits of vengeance, man. All right? Those that's ready to kill, man. Those that's ready to torment, man. All right? Those that are ready to, to, to do whatever the Lord wants them to do, man. You know? So, hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power, man. That's why you got to fear the Lord, man. All right? That's why you got to uh, depart from your evil ways, man. All right? Depart from the things that, that, that you're doing, man. All right? Because, hey, man, hey, the Lord is about to visit this place, man, very soon, man. And everyone is going to feel it, man. Everyone is going to know that it's a higher power behind behind the plagues that are about to hit this place, man. A, uh, uh, behind the horrible atrocities that is, that is about to come in a death, man. All right, the Lord said it's going to be uh, blood to the horse's bridle, man. All right, just it's being symbolic of how much death is going to be out here, man. So this is Isaiah 66 and 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes, and shows that and but shows that in which I delighted not. All right, man. And that's what our people are doing right now, man. All right, giving them marriage, man. All right, a hey, 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 partying, man. All right, at Matthew's uh, the twenty fourth chapter, man. All right, doing everything besides what Yahweh Shemal Shah wants them to do, man. All right, because they fear a hey, hey, their family members. All right, are, are, are going to look down upon them. Well, hey, man, they, they, they just fear that they can't do, you know, the things that they want to do anymore, man. You know, which, hey, man, when you come to the truth, man, is 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 not overbearing, man. All right, it's good to say that uh, his laws are not grievous, man. All right, the Lord is, is a perfect balance, man. It's an ultimate balance when you come into the truth, man. And it's all perfect, man. All right, all you got to do is fight your flesh, man. Fight the wickedness that you have to do, man. All right, because, hey, man, hey, hey, everything hey, is, is, hey, man, um... Damn, Paul said, uh, uh, damn, how it go? Man, hey, it's, it's, it's certain things that you can do, man, that are lawful, man. All right? Hey, 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 man, every, everything that you do is not going to be, it's not wicked, man. All right, playing a video game is not wicked, man. All right, playing basketball is not wicked. Working out is not wicked, man. All right, hey, hey doing the things, doing the things that, 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 that you like to do, man. All right, it's not wicked, man. You might like to go uh, uh, hit on girls, man. All right, but guess what? You cannot hit on a girl that got another man, man. All right, hey, 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 in the world, man, you may not, you may have had that demon on you, man. All right, where you just want to just go and pop other men's women, man. You know, but hey, when you come to the truth, you got to fight that, man. All right, you got to get that demon off of you, man. You know, but hey, man, hey, a lot of people fear that they can't do the things, the things that they, that they want to do, man. You know. So, hey, man, hey, if you, if you can't drop that for your how about Shemal Shah, man, hey, hey, the Lord is going to drop your ass, man, you know? So, hey, this is Proverbs 3 and verse 7. It says, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil, right, man? So, fear the Lord, man. Depart from evil, man, all right? Because, hey, man, hey, hey, your how about Shemal Shah is the one that kills, destroys, man. All right, brings all this judgment, man. This is the one that you should be fearing, man. Not a mortal man, man, all right? Not uh, the things that you want to do, man. All right, but fearing Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. So this is um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right, man. So there's no one that can deliver uh, um, you from the hands of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. All right, so that's why you should feel the Lord, man. All right, hey, hey, if, you, if you're being wicked, man, all right, doing all manners of wickedness, man. All right, hey, you, you think that your gun is going to protect you, your boys are going to protect you, man. All right, hey, 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 it don't matter how much protection you got around you, man. All right, the Lord can still get your ass, man. All right, and hey, the Lord can, can can make a disease come on your ass and kill you, man. All right, <laughs> hey, man, hey, 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 you, 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 can't, you can't fight against, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, little cells, man. All right, disease, man, pessimist, man. All right, or hey, 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 the Lord can have a bug come through and bite your ass, sting your ass, man, and now you dead, man. All right, they showed you um, not something like that, but it was up on um, Upgrade, man. All right, it was this dude. He had the ability where he sneezed. 
All right, he could sneeze, man. All right, and make nanoparticles go into your brain and kill your ass, man. It was, yeah, it was a scene where a dude, I think he had like a shotgun on him. All right, he sneezed. All right, he was like, ah, hold on, I got to sneeze. Sneeze. All right, then the nanoparticles went inside his brain and killed him, man. All right, and that's what the Lord can do to you, man. All right, I think you have no, uh, you know, no one can touch you, man. All right, you the toughest guy on the block, man. All right, hey, man, your how about your shot is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to truly show you, man, what true fear is, man, what true pain is, man. All right, what you should truly fear, man. All right, and that's him, man. So, hey, I'm going to get this uh, Psalms 118. This is Psalms 118 and verse 4. It says, let, let them now that fear Yahweh say that his mercy endured forever. All right, man. Hey, hey, the Lord's mercies endure forever, man. You know, so, hey, man, hey, 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 you, you can, you can, you know, look at the things that, that you were once doing in your past life, man. All right, look at, hey, 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 you know, someone that, you know, hey, said, said they're going to harm you, man, whatever it may be, man. All right, hey, how about Shemal Shah? It's merciful, man. The Lord can take that spirit off of them, man. All right, the Lord can, uh, uh you know, uplift you, man. All right, strengthen you, man. All right, whatever it may be, man, that's why you must fear the Lord, man. All right, move according to his words, man. All right, because, hey, the things that are about to come out here, man. All right, hey, 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 you, you, you're going to wish that you fear the Lord, man. All right, it says in Isaiah 33 and verse 6, all right, that the fear of the Lord is, is, is our treasure, man. All right, that's how hey, we hey, we should hold that dear to our heart, man. Fearing your Habash Shemal Shah, man. All right, because hey, if you fear the Lord, man, all right, you will not depart from him, man. All right, you will not do do something that, that he doesn't like, man. All right, that's going to lead your ass again to destroy, man. So verse 5, it says, I called upon Yahweh in, in distress. Yahweh heard me. Yahweh answered me and set me in a large place. Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? All right, man. So you have no reason to fear a, a mortal man, man. I right, no reason to fear anything in this world, man. All right. But sadly, how about Shemal Shah, man? All right. Because it says that man's grounds of the world, man. I'll say of the, are of the Lord Salaki. All right. Hey, 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 Proverbs 21. All right. It says that the, that the king of the heart. So like get the king's heart. Right, I'm just grab it. Proverbs 21 and 1. It says the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turn it whether so ever he will. All right, man. So Yahweh Shemal Shah controls all, man. All right. He is the power above everything on this on this planet, man. All right. So hey, this is the one that you should fear, man. All right. Not a mortal man, man, that that's that that's can only speak, man. All right. Can only wolf, man. All right, say what he's gonna do, man. You know. But hey man, Yahabah Shmael Shah says what he's gonna do, and it's already happened, man. <laughs> hey, it's that powerful, man. All right, because hey, whatever the Lord says, man, will come to pass, man. Surely, but surely, man, whenever Yahabah Shmael Shah wants to come to pass, man, it will come to pass, man. Because he is the author, man. All right, he's above everybody, man. So this is Jeremiah 32 and 17. It says, Ah, Yahweh power, behold, thou thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretched it, and stretched out arm. And there is nothing too hard for thee, all right? So it's nothing too hard for you, how about Shemal Shah, man? All right, hey, hey, hey. just like the Pennywise thing, man, all right? Hey, whatever it may be, man, hey, uh, hey, Pinhead, man, Jeepers Creepers, all right? Hey, hey, the list goes on and on, man. All right, the Lord is going to bring all that upon these people, all right, because they don't fear him, man, all right? The Lord is truly going to bring that, their, their deepest and darkest fears upon them, man. All right, eight-legged freaks, man, giant spiders. There's a lot of people that's, that's afraid of spiders, man. All right, a lot of people that are afraid of tarantulas, man. You know, and the Lord is going to bring all that upon them, man. All right, because they don't trust in him, man. All right, that's why it's much better to fear the Lord than to fear a man, man. So it says, then, it says, Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers and into the bosom of their children after them. Uh, the great, the mighty power, Yahweh of hosts is his name, all right, man? Because, hey, Yahweh Shemal Shah can do any. There is nothing too hard for the Lord, man, all right? Hey, verse 27, it says, Behold, I am Yahweh, uh, the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me, all right, man? There is nothing too hard for the Lord, man. All right, he can save you out of any situation, man. All right, deliver you out of any situation that you're in, man, you know? Can put you in any situation that he wants to put you in, man. Destroy you in any situation that he wants to destroy you in, man. All right. And that's why we must fear the Lord, man. All right. And trust in him, man. All right. And trust in his words, man. All right. Because, hey, man, no mortal man can do what Yahabah Shemal Shah can do to you, man. So, hey, don't be ashamed of the Lord, man. All right. Don't be ashamed to push his word, man. Don't don't be ashamed to uh to follow him, man. You know? Because, hey, man, hey, 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 you coming to the truth, man. Hey, you a new person coming to the truth. All right, your family members are going to look down on you, man. Hey, hey, a lot of your family members are going to hate you. Your best friends are going to turn to you, man. All right? But, hey, man, don't fear in that, man. All 
All right, don't 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 think like, damn man, my family was gonna leave me, man. All right, now now you're afraid to serve the Lord, man. All right, so be it, man. All right, the Lord already said that hey, 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 that uh, uh we was gonna lose family members, man, loved ones, man. All right, for coming to the truth, man. You know, hey, you just gotta know what you signed up for, man. All right, but hey, it's it's much greater to fear the Lord, man, because there's much greater rewards that are to come, man. All right, just like that Proverbs thirteen and thirteen says. All right, I'm just ending on that, man. It's Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. Says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. So, hey, if you if you despise this word, man, are right, you gonna be destroyed, man? All right, fearing in it, fearing, all right, the 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 you know the eyes of this world, man. What men are gonna see, man? What what men are gonna think? All right, it doesn't matter, man. All right, but hey, if you despise this word, man, all right, and and, and, and hey, and and um, you know, reject your habashim al shad, you're gonna be destroyed, man. All right, but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. All right, man. So if you fear the commandments, man. You're going to be rewarded, man. All right. You're going to be uplifted, man. All right. You're going to have everlasting life, man. All right. All the, all the promises that the Lord promised to us, man. All right. Eyes have not uh, seen. Ears have not heard, man. All right. The Lord is going to give those things unto you, man. But you must fear Yahweh Hashem al man. So, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Chakurash, the one that is an apostle of great meals, and I do her will. And citations and bless you, I can just push his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.